Hi, welcome to everyone studio YouTube channel. For this video, I'll be showing you some IS 14 tricks that I guarantee you didn't know about. So without further ado, let's get started. First is the new update with the home screen widget, which you can customize by going to your home screen, tap and hold any application, choose edit home screen, tap the plus icon, then you can choose or search your preferred widget, then tap add widget. IS14 also gives you a smart stat that automatically rotates widgets to show the most relevant information throughout the day. And also, they flip through easily. The new update also gives you the app library that groups together all of your applications by category. You can also tap the search bar to look for the application that you want to open. To scroll your pages more faster, hold these dots from the bottom of your screen and move them around. Next is you can now hide or show individual app pages to the clutter your home screen. To do that, go to your home screen, tap and hold, then tap the dots. You can now deselect to hide the specific pages of your home screen. Siri has been updated also for not taking up the entire screen. Just say, hey Siri, or hold your side button to see if it's working. You can try it as well if it works if someone is calling you from FaceTime. iOS 14 also shows you a green bag every time your camera is active. So now you know the application is using your camera without permission. A yellow dot now also appears on the top right corner of your screen if the application is using the microphone. There's also a new sound recognition on iOS 14. Just go to settings, accessibility, then sound recognition. It will give you an alert for different sounds like a dog barking, fire alarm, or even a door knock. This can be really helpful if you are wearing headphones and music playing. It will notify you if someone is knocking or if there's a fire alarm. There is also a new feature that I really love the most which is the back top. You can double or triple tap the back of your phone to execute commands like taking screenshots, or locking your device. To do this, just go to Settings, Accessibility, look for Touch, then scroll down, back up. Another new feature that I really love the most is the mirror front camera. Just go to Settings, Look for camera, and under composition, make sure mirror front camera is enabled. So every time you take a selfie, it will not be flipped. Mirror front camera is compatible with iPhone XS or later, and for the new iPhone SE second gen as well. If you are using Chrome or other web browser, IS14 update finally allows us to choose our preferred default web browser. To do this, just go to settings, scroll down and find a browser that you want to use as your default browser. Currently by default, it is set to Safari, but I don't want to use Safari and I want to use Chrome so tap Chrome. Tap default browser app and change to Chrome. So everything that you top, it will open up the Chrome. 